All right, ready? Yeah, yeah. let's see it. Crack her open. Nice. The skull room. All right, what's going on, Dark and Darker Dungeon Delvers? We've got all the news, knowledge, and secrets on obtaining the skull key, surviving Inferno so you could open the skull door, and activating the lever in order to get across the lava and into the obsidian vault. Welcome to So Bad Strange's The Secret of the Skull Key. So first and foremost, we're going to be trying to obtain the Skull Key, and its value on the open auction was 10,000 gold during the last playtest, but its actual value is only going to be around 2 to 2.5 thousand. That's because it's going to be incredibly risky to bring this key in with you into the starting map of B2, drop all the way down to B3's Inferno, and then hope you have a good enough circle in order to reach the Obsidian Vault and open the Skull Door. This is because the skull door is located in the central southern portion of the map and a lot of the spawns start away from that additionally you're going to be fighting your way through skeletal knights elite skeletons and zombies and mummies and also the lava monster which tends to guard the bridge in order to get across to the obsidian vault now, if you're not going to be buying the Skull Key and trying to just obtain it, it does drop from both the Lich and the Ghost King on a very rare chance. And it can also be looted as loose loot around Inferno. The primary means of obtaining the Skull Key are going to be checking in the five door room in the northwest part of the map next to a Skeletal Mage spawn and also the northern central part of the map in the throne room. Both of these have about a 10% chance to appear as loose loot. Your best chance of obtaining the Skull Key is going to be going down to Inferno with a three player party including a cleric. It is a very dangerous spot, and toward the end of this last playtest, we saw increased PvP as more and more players gain the knowledge and the gear to step into harder portions of the dungeon. This is going to make finding the skull key on the ground or looting it from the boss and trying to actually use it to go into the obsidian vault extremely dangerous and risky. However, if you manage to do all of these things correctly and follow the steps to open the door, you are going to be rewarded with all of the loot within the obsidian vault. This is going to be the best loot in the game outside of killing bosses because the loose loot can actually spawn as legendary and there's the two golden coffins which require pick locks and those are also going to have a very high chance of dropping legendaries. However, this is going to mean that you can only really get one to four legendaries maybe within the obsidian vault. And so that's why we've priced the key at about two to 2.5K because you never know what the random stats on the legendaries will be. And it's still RNG whether you get the majority of the legendaries. So you might come away with just one. Now, as far as the actual process of using your skull key goes, it is going to be pretty straightforward, but it took several attempts for this group and for my group to figure out how to use it. And so without further ado, here is the full footage of using the skull key. You're going to have to kill the lava monster, which guards the jump puzzle in order to get across the lava field and into that southern part of the dungeon. After opening the stone door, which is massive, you're going to look down to the left. There's a sort of hidden lever, and when this is pulled, it's going to activate a stone bridge that extends the majority of way across the lava chasm, allowing you to make a jump across and onto the bridge. After getting onto the bridge and walking across, you will come to the skull door. This requires you to put the skull key onto your utility belt and use it in order to open the door. This is going to grant you access to the obsidian vault which does have monsters inside and a lot of the time because of the challenge of getting here and fighting through all of the monsters bosses and other players you're going to be outside the zone and it's up to you whether or not it's worth the risk this group has decided it's worth the risk and they're going to be playing outside the zone in the death swarm attempting to go through the process of healing multiple times using campfires potions and bandages in order to attempt to full loot the vault now they did get several pieces of legendary gear including a loose loot nearly perfectly rolled legendary crossbow and some wonderful legendary gloves they also came across a legendary sword 
Just like with the boss fight and other areas of Inferno, it's only going to take one player waiting at the final circle or trying to extract camp or another group coming behind you to clean you up and steal all of your loot and the key. Now if you also get the Ghost King room where most of the portals will spawn on occasion, it's going to be very challenging. Those lava monsters will be doing area of effect attacks underneath you while you try to open the portals. In this group, we have a rogue, and so it is very useful to have that fast interaction speed for both quick clearing the obsidian vault of loot and chests, and also quickly opening all of the escape portals so you may extract back to the tavern in order to celebrate your victory and sell all of your legendary gear. So with that, good luck escaping the dungeon using your skull keys, and I will see you for the next one. All right, I'll take it. You get out. Get out. Okay. Nice. Sorry, let's go back out here. <laughs> yeah, just slowly dying. No meds. Pain internal. <laughs> That was the most stressful skull key ever. <laughs> they don't give you much time. Go, 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 quick, quick, quick. Yeah. Skull's here. Just bandages. Right, I'm gonna drop bandages here for you. I got band-aids. We're working it. Oh no, oh no. I'm on fire. I'm fine though. I, I saved it. Right here. Uh, just pop, uh, we actually have time. Uh, I, I can't see those, unfortunately. It's so dark. I'm just keeping walking with you. Can we grab the bandages? It was just so dark, I can't see. Yeah. Now I'm seeing. <laughs> <laughs> Got a pretty cool gloves. Two additional physical. Five mage resistance. I really want to take a second here at the end of this video to give a special shout out to Uberkist on YouTube and Orlanthi, the rank one warrior on Twitch. This project wouldn't have been possible without them. So please give them a ton of love, constructive criticism, and compliments down below. And subscribe to all of our channels, and I'll see you all for another adventure inside the dungeon.